the this whole conference will now be recorded. Is uh, okay. is completely done. You know. Okay. Okay. But you can use the double seven double seven. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, once again, I am going to explain this uh, long-term planning. Yes. I think you understood the concept. What yes. is the long-term plan? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The processing steps. We will check it now. Yeah. Okay. Um, the main uh, processing steps like master data is in the work center. We should tick mark this as a long term. Mm -hmm. One checkbox will be there. Yeah. I can show you in the work center. Mm -hmm. Open work center. So in capacity tab, go to the capacity header. And you can see this is a tick mark for long term planning. OK, if this tick mark is not there, your capacity board, you can you cannot see. OK, yeah. capacity you cannot see. That is a main master data and and then you need to create the first scenario. The transaction code for this scenario is MS31. So after work center uh, hmm. complete, your second hmm. step is uh, um, create the scenario, right? Correct. That's create it. the scenario. For this, we will use the transaction code MS31. Okay. So, if you want to know the path, go to the logistics, production, production planning, long term planning. Expand this, you can see first of all, read cell scenario. So, go to the scenario creation MS31. Here you need to give any three digit number. Okay. I am putting 101. Any three digit number you can give and write the planning scenario. Yeah. For example, it is for July. Okay. Hmm. And select the long term planning radio button here. And then you can press enter. Okay. So once you press enter here, you can uh, enter the start date and the end date. This is for the independent requirements. Independent requirement means. We will enter these in MD61 transaction code. So in that, which are the independent requirements you want to consider from day to date, you can select it. Okay. So plan independent requirement and uh, dates and this dates should be coincide, right? It's not mandatory. Yeah, this scenario will consider the planned independent requirements between these two dates only. Yeah, but for example, plan, PI, uh, planned uh, independent requirement as you work with uh, like a forecast, you know. So yeah, the correct. forecast that we are working like uh, one month we have 100 cars, second month 50 cars, and another thing. So if correct. you are working like a five months period mm. time, correct. so uh, this five month period time should be uh, should be covered in this area. Is correct? Correct. Correct. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. It should okay. be covered. Okay. okay. Otherwise, those will not consider. For example, mm -hmm. here you put only two months, and mm -hmm. there you maintain five months. Yeah, then system yeah. will not consider the five but, months. Only two perfect. months it will. Exactly. Happen. That's a, that's my question. Was okay. Good. Yeah, correct. Correct. Okay. So now, once you maintain these two, uh -huh. okay, in the uh -huh. top you have the planned independent requirements, plans, release, and save. These three buttons you have. Yeah. You need to maintain the data in these three buttons. First is planned independent requirements. OK. 
okay once you click that button you will get the this pop-up screen in this you can click on add new entry i see so then it will open the version these are the simulation versions anyone you can use okay these are the simulations version for example i am taking the ab sales plan that means sales they are giving the plan okay but a standard is uh, what is the what is the standard value for version is not uh, zero zero but it's uh, simulation. not zero zero one remaining any simulation versions you can take i see okay okay, okay. and then you can enter the dates for this scenario which is a validity you can enter the date you can use the multiple scenarios with multiple dates also means a b is for this month next month you want to use another version you can use it i see like this you can use the multiple versions here i am putting only one version okay so just sales planning we are doing okay and once you selected the AB, click confirm button. Okay. Okay. That is the first part. Mm -hmm. So the next is plans. So this is scenario we are running for which of the plans. You can click on the plans button. Mm -hmm. And in this pop up button, it is very simple. Again, click on create. new entries and enter your plant plant mm -hmm. okay and confirm mm -hmm. okay. okay confirm that is a second button mm -hmm. and once you feel the every setting is correct then you need to release and save mm -hmm. okay yeah so click release plus save button do you want to do save immediate okay yeah there was a control parameter it is for reorder point the uh, team mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i'm coming if you go back. back that mean we will not we will not use this one you mean to say this one this check yeah box. control parameter yeah safety stock as open. Yeah. yeah while you are doing planning means uh mrp run for this scenario which are the things you can you want to consider you can tick mark like reorder point you want to consider and consider sales orders original sales orders are there those you want to consider okay yeah. use direct production means uh, uh, real production orders you want to consider yeah. which are the things you want to consider you can check mark that so yeah. when you run the mrp run using this scenario system will consider those and it will read it will give the planned orders for that same way here yeah. receipts are there include form mm -hmm. orders include purchase orders include planned orders all these are the original orders do you want to consider them or not if you tick mark this system will consider during MRP run and accordingly it will give you. Yeah, and the best practice what they do. It is not a best practice as per the company need. Okay. okay. We got long term it. planning okay. example in the month of December. Okay. It is a long that time. If any purchase orders are there, do I need to consider that? Our planned yeah. orders purchase requisitions are there. You want to consider, you can tick mark. Yeah. Can you uh, please go a little down? It says bomb explosion or something like this. Oh, we will see what kind of activities there. Um, yeah. Bomb. BOM selection ID. This is if you create a separate BOM, separate BOM for a long term only. I see. You can create separate BOM, and in the separate BOM, you will maintain the usage actually. Generally, we are using the usage one. 
okay if you want for a long term planning you are using a separate bom then you will create with a different uses and you can assign it here the so system will consider that bom only during this scenario that is bom selection and active version what is active version 00 So these are the details. Okay. So I am going back, and next step. This is completed. Okay. okay. Next is independent requirements. Yeah. Okay. Creation of independent requirements. MD sixty one. Okay. MD sixty one. Yeah. MD sixty one. Yeah. Planned independent requirements. create and i am using the same car honda mm -hmm. underscore car one mm -hmm. and here you can select your version a a b a b correct yeah okay select that a b version and press enter mm -hmm. okay so uh, you can see here a b version will come and uh, you can maintain in the month of july how much you want as a ab version for mm -hmm. example 25 i am putting okay in the month of july i want to put 25 and you can save it just just one month yeah you can maintain multiple also i see okay okay uh, we will not do a few scenario you say to 25 no problem make make it easy Yeah, actually, uh, what you want to life easier, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So only yeah. one month I am putting as a twenty-five, and you can save it. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. So independent requirement is saved. Right. That is second step. Yeah. So the third step is you can run MRP. MS zero two. Okay. MS zero two. Yeah. That's MRP run. Correct. Okay. Now, MRP run this, this in is, long this term. This is a different. Uh, this is a different T code, right? Correct. Exactly. Instead of uh, MD zero one N. You know zero one zero one N. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So using this MS zero two, you need to select the what is the scenario. Okay. So scenario we created one zero one. Okay. You select that scenario. Enter material. Enter plan. And in the scheduling mainly. the scheduling you need to select the second one lead time scheduling and capacity plan okay now you are in a change mode right no this transaction won't have any change at display mr yeah run. but you are using ms02 right correct so ms02 is the t code yeah to run <clears throat> mrp Okay, so MRP planning scenario, you use the 101. Uh, it's just you just put the 101, or we create already 101. No, we created in first step. Here in <laughs> MS 31, we created 101. I see. Okay, okay. So whatever you created, you need to use that one only. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> So here in scheduling, select the second option, lead mm. time scheduling and capacity plan. Mm. Select and just press enter. And again press enter. Put parameter. 
two times you need to enter and here you can see system is created planned orders simulation it is not a original orders this is simulate to planned orders okay yeah now what are the orders it is created you want to see you can go back and generally we will see in stock requirements list md04 correct yeah here same kind of transaction code is there ms04 Stop. after mrp run yeah you need to check whether system created planned orders or not you can check using ms04 okay yeah okay go to ms04 transaction code where is that ms04 you need to enter the scenario in first step whatever we created scenario you need to select 101 okay material planned and press enter so once you see here you can see independent requirement we created for 25 right system is generated a planned order for the 25 right okay so we don't you have a production order right we just no in long term planning this is a long term just a simulation planning only it is not a original planned order uh -huh. okay so you cannot make this as a production order mm -hmm. okay Right. So the main purpose of long term is material availability and capacity availability. Okay. Material availability and capacity availability. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I am coming back. So MRP is executed and system has created the results. Then you can check the capacity how is the capacity okay mm -hmm. capacity evaluation so for that you need to use the transaction code cm38 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 okay okay so the navigation path is cm38 capacity requirements here you can see and the CM 38 is the work center open this transaction code when you open it will ask you what is the planning scenario so this our planning scenario is 101 and our work center and a plant enter these three and press center so system will show you you can see now here we have, we have to understand. Here now we have to understand, and this is Correct. little uh, look like little complicated. It's very simple, no complication. Okay. okay. I will explain you. You can see week, week wise, mm -hmm. this is current week, but we kept the our requirement in July. Okay. So here requirement is, these everything is in hours available capacity is 465 hours okay in that week we have 465 hours but system is you have planned for only 51 hours now okay. from where we have to uh, bring this hours from the work center work center yes correct from the so work center. this uh, the available capacity 465 and requirement this is both are uh, calculated from the work center right correct requirement will get calculated from your routing mm -hmm. and the routing you will maintain to manufacture one honda car how many hours so for 25 cars how many hours it is required yeah but 25 cars uh, we Put in one which month we put it in there 
जुलाई था जुलाई सो वेयर इट से जुलाई या यू सेलेक्ट इट हियर एंड क्लिक ऑन डिटेल पीरियड यू कैन सी दिस इज अ और प्लान ऑर्डर इट इज क्रिएटेड एंड इट इज स्टार्टेड एंड लास्ट टू फिनिश uh it spread across 3 weeks fig requirement you can see 25 okay can you go back one more time please yeah you can see how i so the first row which you say 51465 yeah and i'm i'm not understanding that how come you select 51465 then 11% because uh, it says 26 2019 mm. that is 26 week okay so i'm going to ms04 i'm going to the planned order okay this is the planned order correct yeah go to the details of this planned order uh -huh. now here you can see you want to manufacture this on the july 1st right so start date is 2056 because of the start yeah you okay. need the hours okay uh -huh. and if you go to the detail scheduling tab here okay you can see it is starting time and ending time and mission is 251 hours go to the right side of this yeah yeah now it's clear because yeah. if we, we don't go to detail and then we yeah. cannot understand this yeah correct yeah. you can see right side 51 hours right capacity right, right. right to assemble this okay yeah. based on that system has shown you that yeah okay now you can go back in the same uh, previous uh, screen the other one capacity is yeah. there now we i understand the 51 and now in the 465 yeah 465 okay available capacity yeah so this is from this routing mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. in the routing mm -hmm. this is our work center right and open this work center mm -hmm. and in the capacity tab i see go here the capacity and double click on this category it says 15 right okay it is saying 15 how come 465 has come no nah. 465 okay i think 465 hours he is talking about that's too many hours yeah capacity uh the time here is mentioned previous time 6 to 22 Hmm. so as actually this is wrong time because 25 you are considering the particular whole day or month or whatever 
that's why that increase. Is the, am I right? No. It is 15 days, 15 hours. In a week, you will have a seven days only. So seven but, five zero. But you are you say 51 hours on other side. 51 hours is that capacity. You yeah, need to manufacture a car. Car 51 hours. Car, yeah, 51 hours. But what is the other four? Yeah, I'm checking that. That's I'm. I think hmm. some wrong is there the data population. Yeah, it should not come 465. Yeah, 465. It should come right. around uh, this five days is working. Five fifteen are 75. It should come actually. Some wrong data it is picking actually. Okay. That but is a wrong data. Okay. I think you can go to routing maybe. Routing only. I I shown you the routing. No, I saw. I thought maybe something. This is a planned order, and in the planned order, you can see the group means routing. You double click it. It will go to this one. This is routing. So how 51 hours is came is to manufacture one car. What is hours you need? Two hours. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. So 25 means 50 hours and one hour is a setup. So that is a 51 hours. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That calculation That's is correct. correct. That calculation okay. is correct. But yes. the data coming from routing is uh, coming wrongly actually. I don't know the reason. Okay. Yeah. So, but you understood what we are doing here. Yeah. Purpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, out of 465, you need 61 hours, which is 11 percentage. That is a capacity load. Mm -hmm. And remaining capacity means nothing but a 465 minus 51. Mm -hmm. That is 414. That is our CR. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This capacity, if it is any overload is there, you need to reduce your quantity. If it is under load is there, you can increase the quantity, your planning quantity. Like 25 is there. It is only occupying 11 percentage. So you can manufacture 250 quantity also. Okay. Like that, you can change your planning. Yeah, what we are factoring in 27, 2019, what, what there, uh, 2027, and the week 27, what yeah. is this? Because if they have some load. Actually, no requirements have been found for the selected period. Uh, okay, okay, okay. The same will be 428, is that right? Yeah, some wrong data is coming actually. Let's see. The, it is according to, to this uh, table, the whole table, there should yeah. be only one data, right? Yeah, correct. Only on 26 section. But not any other, the the data which is below from. Correct. Uh, yeah, 465 and 540, 614. Yeah. Uh, so are, some maybe wrong somebody, data. Somebody is play with the work center before or something like this. Yeah, correct. Because we did not work on work center long time. Yeah, correct. Okay. So this is you need to check the capacity as this step. Okay. If you find the what are the values are correct, then you can copy this from simulation version to active version. Yeah, I will work on it tomorrow. I have a different work center and okay. uh, which I created long time and it was working efficiently. So okay. that work center I will use in this scenario and I want to see that yeah. all this uh, 51 and 465 and all these things okay. coming. Yeah, yeah, you can test it. Okay. Yeah.
so final step is copy from simulation version i can show you this transaction code is ms64 before that i am opening md62 where you can see simulation and active okay for your honda car and this and in the month you can select all active and inactive versions press enter and actually you can see this is our ab version right the value here is 25 in the month of july okay mm -hmm. under this active version there is no values here july okay so that means this is still a simulation version and you want to find like so this simulation is working fine i want to move so then you can use the another transaction code ms64 where is that ms64 yeah okay. i can ms64 copy version you can execute mm -hmm. and it is very simple plant material you give and here what is a version source version means your simulation version a b and your target target is your active version 00 you can select these two and in the bottom remove the test mode check mark is there no database changes simulation you remove this check mark and execute okay execute so here you can see items with successfully transferred one is transferred mm -hmm. so now you can come back and you can check the results in md 62 mm -hmm. independent requirements you can select here all active and inactive versions present mm -hmm. okay you can see now it is copied to active version but when it's copied to active version but the but the version is showing zero zero which is uh, not for planning our version is a b right a b is simulation yeah yeah simulation now from simulation we copy to active version so do we need this copy or is this the we can we cannot copy it and we go to the final step that is up to you business if I they see. find that this long term is fine whatever we did is fine okay mm. yeah the final step you will copy it otherwise you don't require to copy i see okay mm. so if they want to copy can we use the uh, version instead of a b from the beginning zero zero no if you are using zero zero means it is a it is not a simulation version is active version then that is not a long-term planning hmm. it is a normal planning i see okay okay hmm. so long-term planning means it is a simulation version I see. So you okay. need to use any of these simulations only. Mm -hmm. Yes, a question. Maybe it's a flag in the one, two, three, four, four uh, mm -hmm. column. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. What? Maybe it's, it's, it shows the active, no active, or not? Yeah, it is shows you the active or not active. So which are there? Mm -hmm. These versions actually the not active actually. Yeah, so that means maybe we can we can go here uh, whatever uh, uh, whatever it is uh, whatever decision we decide between this five line we remove the flag will be the active version or, or no or no is that something can do it? No. Uh, for example, we have a that five is line. Zero zero yeah. zero zero is a SAP standard active version. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, no problem. Okay. okay. 
so system yeah. will consider mrp normal mrp will consider always active version only yeah. and this uh, 875 is showing i think this is yesterday's right yeah correct i see mm -hmm. okay okay all right okay this is how you can do long term planning mm -hmm. okay yeah great any questions uh no can okay. i show a high level question between all yeah. the scenario hmm. the the uh, the you know the manufacturing which which scenario they consider more for example i know for example everything for chemical and uh, anything chemical it will be processed but between uh, the repetitive or uh, discrete uh, which one the people con consider more you mean to say whether discrete or ppp a process or repetitive in which business yes. and i know this is considered correct <laughs> does mean the people in the market or in the business uh, what is the percentage of uh, uh, discrete or repetitive or process or uh, you know and, and kanban kanban is just like small application but what is the most uh, uh, in the in the manufacturing which one they use the, uh, uh, discrete or repetitive i understand the process in all chemistry they use a process for example but mostly people they use a discrete or repetitive discrete just get more up okay no problem okay, okay great thanks okay. Okay. so now can i go to another topic yes please uh, yeah, yeah okay and the small is it topic long? is there no small yeah. topic only. okay yeah not like this much big okay yeah. so now i'm going to the another small topic that is change management mm. change management yes okay the change management what is a change management how we can use this okay change management means for example i will show you i have a this is concept uh, change management i don't know this has a change management because when i was working with uh, uh, plastic industry we are yeah. using one product and uh, depending on the customer need we are working one product and after mm. we finish this product mm. then we did the change management it means we change the product uh, from one product to the other product Correct. when you change this product how long mm. it takes maybe because you had to change a lot of uh, things you had to change the dies you had to change the some other instrument you had to change settings you had to change the and uh, PLC some data and after when you completed the whole thing and then mm. you start new product which is called new this change management that is not the change management here I see you are saying you are uh, producing now product A yeah. tomorrow you want to produce product B right. so you want to change in the process all the parameters and everything materials and everything that correct, okay yeah. Yeah. that is normal business process that is not the change management in sap okay mm -hmm. so in sap what is a change management means for mm -hmm. example you have created a bom mm -hmm. okay this is the bom for car one okay right. in the bom you put the tire okay right. and five is the quantity and this is a valid from whenever you created this uh, uh this bom from that date it is a valid is it possible to change this value Which valid value from so you cannot change from. yeah valid you from. cannot change yeah i see this date is a default sap standard mm -hmm means mm -hmm. whenever you uh, started this product created this bom that mm -hmm. date it automatically comes mm -hmm. okay that is one thing another thing is now 
you maintained this as a 5 now i will change this to 10 mm. and save it mm. okay mm. i have saved it so now if you open and see what is my previous value 5 how you know because you saw this change, one you are saying change. 5 yeah yes. yeah but uh, if somebody has come and want to see what is my previous value, you cannot see. Right. Yeah, yeah. But on the top, no you can see the change, no? No? no like a PO you when you change, see. no? No. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Change. You yeah. cannot change. You cannot see. Let me see. I think uh, you can change the uh, alternative bomb or something like this. It was uh, alternative bomb one when you go to the bomb uh, alternative second, maybe. No. Call left. Nicholas. Nicholas left. Disconnected. Okay. So yeah. now, this is where your change management will come into picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. You cannot, as a standard, you cannot do changes. Okay. Now, you want to keep whatever you changes as a history mm -hmm. and this data also you want to keep as a history mm -hmm. change like for example next month, this is the month of May next mm -hmm. month onwards you want to keep this quantity as 10 either quantity or you want to add a new material code here material component mm -hmm. but it is effective from next month. It is effective from next month. Even, that you, you, can use. even you work tomorrow uh, or after it will affect uh, next month. Yes, correct. OK, it will show you that as a next month only. So if you want like that, you can you need a change management here. You need a change management. So mm -hmm. where it will do the two things. One is you can keep your valid from date on your own. Mm -hmm. And you can see the history data also. You can see the history, history data. data. So also. we can see the history data that will show the five quantity and different. Yes. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. For that, we will use the change management. Mm -hmm. So any idea, Nicholas? Oh, sorry, yeah, Nicholas. Nicholas, he dropped the call. Adam, yeah, he dropped the call actually. Yeah, he will uh, listen this uh, video later on, I think. Okay, okay. Yeah. So now, how to do this one? Okay, how we can do is, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. So when you create or change this screen any master data you can see here one change number change number yeah okay you need to assign this change number when you are doing any changes so system will collect all your changes using this change number i see okay so now okay. how to create this change number we need to create a change number can so, we put the five over there quantity or okay yeah, uh, tell you. Oh, i will tell yeah. you let me okay mm -hmm. so based on this change number mm -hmm. we can use the different values there i see okay first step here is you need to do the creation of a change number mm -hmm. we need to create a change number create change number mm -hmm. okay the transaction code for this one is CC01 is the transaction code. Mm -hmm. So open CC01 first. Okay. This is a screen, it will come create change master. Hi, Nicholas. Yeah, yeah. hi, hi. I got yeah, yeah okay. I'm not, I got the telephone. Okay, okay. So in change number, 
change management it is mainly be uh, used for the master data changes to capture your master data changes we will use this change number okay so first step here is you will create a change number create change number okay to create that change number is master data that transaction code is cc01 so once you open this transaction cc01 here you can enter any number any word okay for example you want to use this for the next month july june 2019 is my change number any identification you can use it okay now then press enter then it will ask you the description okay example like bom changes from june you can enter any description and here you need to enter your valid from date valid from date means you want to create a new bom changes and that should be valid from first of june okay here the date we will mention this changes is effective from which date okay and then you enter the change number status change number status is active or inactive you can select active clear yeah okay next this change masters you can do for which of the master data like one example is bom like this you can do this for bom routing material master work center for all these masters you can use this change number concept so at present which uh, type of mass data you want to use it mm -hmm. that you need to assign it here in the object types mm -hmm. okay click the object types button mm -hmm. and here you need to select these are the Lot different masters these are yeah. everything is over here whole sap correct correct material okay. plant maintenance and all these things correct so here for example you want to use for bom you activate okay. all these check boxes i see general dial don't activate lock lock okay. uh, if it's lock, lock means not using it not using it doesn't work yeah correct uh, okay. the other thing is uh, uh, one more question yeah. the object yeah. uh, and all this put the your know, check mark is fine yeah but uh, the other thing is uh, is uh, right here means uh, after that is not grayed gray out it's yeah. white <clears throat> excuse me mm. Mm. so mm, i mean uh, how you can handle all the other uh, events means uh, yeah these, for these things you don't require these check boxes only active means active is sufficient mm -hmm. yeah can you go down i want to see just what the other fields they have just for my end oh they have not that many yeah <clears throat> okay very interesting use it yeah object recipe management dependency yeah they 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 are not uh, yeah from uh, our working point of view correct okay yeah. once you activate this one mm -hmm. in the top there is another button i see okay object types we selected then object you need to click on objects object click this button mm -hmm. Now here you can see material BOM has come. Mm -hmm. So this changes we are doing for which material you need to assign that. Like we are using this for the Honda underscore car one. So material always uh, come the the header material, but not Correct. the component. Not the component. Not the component. Correct. Okay. And the plant mm -hmm. double seven double seven 
and BOM uses we are using this Products. for the description. One. Yeah, production. That is one exactly. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Select it and save it. So here we did the three things. One is from valid from date we put. Mm -hmm. The next is object types we selected and we check mark the BOM. Mm -hmm. And third thing is objects we selected and we are entering the what is a material code. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now save I'm it. saving it. Remember this change number June 2019 and save oh. it. Right. Okay. Now the system will work on a BOM for a June 2019. We are not done any changes. We just created a number. That's all. Okay. Okay. Now, using this number, now I am mm -hmm. going to the BOM changes. Okay. Now, you put that number here. June 2019. I see. Okay. And press enter. Mm -hmm. When you press enter, you can see this valid from date will change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is changed as a June 1st because we maintain that June 1st in the mm -hmm. this change number and then press enter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. for example, earlier it is a 10 is there quantity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I am putting 20 example. I'm telling you, don't worry. The car will not have the 20 tires. Okay. So you will put the 20 quantity and you can see here it is valid from six mm -hmm. if you are not using the change number the system will give you that valid from date as a today's date only and what, you was are the, the, what was the date before before was date. today's date right right no 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 whenever you created the date will be there i see okay now i will show you the difference also and valid to and yes change the number also will get populated here no my point is uh, uh, when we create the cs01 it was a different date right i will tell you that okay. i will show you that okay, okay. Mm -hmm. now what we did is using the change number mm -hmm. we changed the quantity from 10 to 20 okay right. and this validity date is 06 you can yes. save it now yeah. Now I have a my I, I memorize it. It was uh, before quantity was five. Then you change ten. Then change twenty. So now yeah. we have to go and see the change history. Don't that that's you are thinking, right? Yes, correct. You can see first thing is I'm going to the display mode of this metal BOM. Okay. Uh -huh. You can and press enter. Okay. Now one minute go back i am using the from and to valid dates okay for example today onwards i'll put next month actually you can see here it is showing you the two items okay mm -hmm. 10 item only with the 10 quantity it is valid from this is Fine. when we created first time we created on 10th mm -hmm. until June 1st right the value is 10 right and from June 1st onwards the value is 20 mm -hmm. why this is changed means you can refer this change number mm -hmm. and who did this one everything you can see in the change number means who created okay now but it doesn't show but it doesn't showing the quantity five. It won't show that time. We don't uh, did not create a change number. No? Change number. I see. Okay. Okay. So that is advantage. You can't right. see the five because we did not use the change number. As mm -hmm. we use the change number, we are able to see these changes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. So what is the purpose? Okay, we did changes here and next month June. That is good fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose is 
for example you are creating a production order now production order now mm -hmm. okay and you put the for example one quantity here and you are manufacturing this in this month this month means maybe 23rd mm -hmm. and press center so to manufacture one car how many tires you need as per bym Five. whether it should take 10 or 15 Sorry, 10 or 20. Your voice is breaking. Yeah, yeah. I said now it should take 10. Exactly. Okay. So you were manufacturing in this July, uh, in this May month. In the May month yes. BOM, it is only 10. So if you go yes. into the components, mm -hmm. you can see 10 only yes okay that is advantage now another example i am coming out to zoom yeah. if you go to zoom exactly. it's only 20. exactly so i am putting the same component by but i am manufacturing the order in same Six. one quantity and i am manufacturing this i am uh, i am planning to manufacturing the month of june june, june yeah okay and press now center it, it will show 20 now 20 exactly correct yeah. this is the advantage Mm -hmm. Okay, where you will use this mainly is during the financial year changes. Mm -hmm. Generally, next year onwards, I am using a different component or different quantities. That time, you don't require to wait till 31st of December. Yeah, you can so, do any type uh, changes. Also, if the, the place you are working um, in a auto industry, do you use this uh, application change? Yes, yes, everybody will use it. I see. Because next financial year onwards, I want to, for example, tire. Today mm -hmm. I am using Continental. Mm -hmm. Next financial year, I don't want to use the Continental because its quality is not good or I am getting the so many complaints. I see. So I want to go to another company, Seat. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh -huh. from next financial year, that one change number I will create and I will change this component. Mm -hmm. So the what are the orders which are creating next month and next year? Mm -hmm. It will pick that new C A tire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That is the advantage. Is it clear? Yeah. 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 You can practice this. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is not in the mainstream, but it is a subtopic. Yeah. I yeah. think you are. I hope you understood application. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great, Mr. Wasu. Just to ask you a question, we will have a presentation for the. There is one module related to used to be in APO, it become in S4 HANA PT. We will have this uh, presentation about this module. Or not? Uh, which module? I did not get you. Yeah, do you remember when we we talk about uh, APO? Yeah, it become part that is PPDS. Uh, one yeah. Yes, PPDS. Yes. yeah, that is tomorrow's that? class actually. Okay, okay, okay. okay great. Okay, okay, that thanks. is tomorrow's class actually. It takes uh, one okay. hour time, that is the reason that is tomorrow. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. thanks. So, thanks I will... yeah, thank you. Uh, Jamal, I think another two three classes, uh, this our course will complete actually. If oh, you have any questions, you we, can ask we, me. Do. we will miss you now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no problem, uh, Jamal. You can go to India uh, to see Mr. No, Wasu. India did not allow us to come to India, but Mr. Was yeah. give me the phone number, then maybe sometimes I bother him. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you can, you can, uh, you can drop a mail, so no problem. I will reply to you. Okay, okay, I appreciate, I appreciate Mr. Mr. Wasu. Surely we will need your help, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Okay. This is better okay. to go to India. Two person, Nicholas and me. It's two tickets. It's very, <laughs> very, very complicated things and a lot of money. So we can send the ticket to, for to Wasu. The Wasu gonna come yeah, over. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Sure. Definitely. But we will not. Yeah. Uh, but we will not invite you uh, in winter season because it's too much cold over here. You cannot handle it. But we will call oh, you in okay. the summer season. Sure. Definitely. I'll come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Mr. Okay. Yeah, so, what is uh, what we'll do uh, tomorrow is 